Hey, hey. You're doing a heck of a job there, Brownie. Huh? Stick with the ride. The shit with Bobby, you settle it. You settle it now. And not just because she's my sister, either. Tone, now what? you you put little kids in jeopardy in the hands of some fucking redneck? Not to mention you leave little Paulie alone to deal with the cops. I thought he had it under control. Let me ask you a question about the feast. Do we need negative press? With all the competition out there for the entertainment dollar, DVDs, the internet. You're right, Tom. What happened to the regular ride guy? The guy we used last year. Well, what he wanted to charge? I'm getting killed here, Tom. When your dad had St. Elsie's, it was a cash cow, and it was easy. Nowadays, between paying the church, these Puerto Ricans now, ha, my profit shrunk to nothing. If it don't work as a business, get rid of it. Not for nothing, but a lot of that feast goes in your pocket. I got a lot of my mind, T. I'm sorry. Like what? I had a biopsy. I might have prostate cancer. Well, it's a biopsy, right? Nine times out of ten, these things come back clean. I don't know. What don't you know? And don't walk yourself up into a state like you do. Hmm? I've been having headaches. I'm afraid maybe the thing may have stastasized. Jesus, will you listen to yourself, huh? With all your weird fucking shit about your body and the germophobias? You don't know shit yet. It's true. I'd rather face 10 guys with shivs than something I can't see. Exactly. You're too susceptible to the psychics and the dream messages and dirty fucking toilet seats. What's a biopsy? Get a grip. You're right, T. You know, a negative thinking can help bring this shit on. Walk something out with Bobby, huh? And Eddie Lynch coming down from Pennsylvania with an envelope. Meet him at the Bing. You call him, you set up a time. 